On Thursday, the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell announced a new approach to inflation that could keep rates lower for longer. Initial weekly U.S. jobless claims totaled just over 1 million, slightly down from the previous week. And we found out that the second quarter GDP plunged by worse ever 31.7 percent as the economy went into lockdown. Switzerland's GDP fell by negative 8.2 percent in the second quarter and Japanese banks' credit costs could hit a crisis level, all thanks to the pandemic. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll be eyeing Canada's GDP and the US PCE price index for July. Today, I'm looking at the dollar cat pair, which has been on a free fall since mid July and is about to reach the pre pandemic low of. 1.30. If things don't start to look brighter, we could see the pair heading towards the two and a half year low of 1.26. How low do you think the pair could go before seeing a correction? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.